Honorable Dominic Okafor's grand finale of Agata Badminton Outreach marks a milestone in youth empowerment, a triumph of youth capacity building and sporting excellence. The highly anticipated grand finale of the five-day badminton outreach for secondary schools in Agwata Federal Constituency, organized by Honorable Engineer Dominic Ifan Chukuoka for fellow Nigeria Society of Engineers, concluded with resounding success on August 10, 2024 at Abuelu Hall, Apo. The outreach held in conjunction with National Productivity Center spanned five days of intensive training and competition, leaving a lasting impact on the youth of Agwata. <laughs> On my right, she became, and on my left, everywhere. She became to serve, not all plain. Service on one love. Event overview. The event held August 6 to August 10, 2024. The venue being Abuelo Hall, Apo, Agata Federal Constituency. Participating schools were yeah, a total of 28 secondary schools. Focused areas by day. Day 1, fundamentals and strokes. Day 2, net play, footwork, matches and defense. Day 3, singles, doubles, strategy and counting. Day 4, clearing, dropping, match play and conclusion. And day 5, final matches, evaluations and closing ceremony. The grand finale saw the presence of notable leaders from the host community and representatives of Dr. Bafa Baba Danagundi, Director General of the National Productivity Center, and Mr. Patrick Estate Onyedum, Chairman of the Anambra State Sports Development Commission. Today was marked by exciting presentations culminating in a series of singles matches where Honorable Okafo, a skilled badminton player himself, again raised tents to assess their progress. The students showcased their newly acquired skills with singles matches is both for both male and female participants demonstrating the high level of training they received. The outreach provided each participating school with essential badminton kits including four rackets, a net, a pack of shuttlecocks and a cash donation of 150,000 naira to support their continued development in their sport. In a special gesture of support, Honorable Dr. Vincent Opala, former commissioner for health in Anambra State and a renowned medical consultant based in Houston, Texas, donated 10,000 naira to each participating school, Dr. Opala, an indigenous of Apple community, also pledged to sponsor a future badminton cup, further encouraging the youth to pursue excellence in the sport. During the closing ceremony, Comrade Madabuchi Ezekafo, coordinator of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, Aguata Chapter, who was the chairman of the occasion, commended Honorable Okafo for his visionary approach in selecting secondary schools as beneficiaries of this constituency project. He emphasized that the investment in the youth is a testament to Honorable Kafo's commitment to their development and the future of Agwata. Dr. Dr. Danagundi, through his representative, expressed his satisfaction with the outreach and urged students and their games masters and mistresses continue building on the foundation laid during the training. He highlighted the importance of sustainability in ensuring that the skills acquired are nurtured for future actual success. In his closing remarks, Honorable Kafo expressed his pride in the progress made by the students. He announced that the federal government of Nigeria has awarded a contract for the construction of an extra modern indoor sports center set to be completed next year. He pledged that the next badminton outreach and games would be held at this state-of-the-art facility. Honorable Carver also extended his gratitude to the instructional team led by Olympian Mrs. Obie Edoga Tolaja, a member representing the Southeast on the board of the Badminton Federation of Nigeria. The coaching crew including Mr. Nweje Chuma, an State badminton coach, and Mr. Godswit Ifejika, Enugu State Badminton Coach, were praised for their dedication. Mrs. Solaja announced the discovery of a new talent, Umakuka Ebrechuku, a student of Holy Family Secondary School, Ibuku, who will now be invited to play at the Anambra State level. The event concluded without any incidents or casualties, marking a successful end to the maiden badminton outreach for all secondary schools in Aguata. The outreach, which has been meticulously reported by Aguata News Media, has set a new standard for youth sporting initiatives in the region and its success promises a bright future of badminton in Aguata. The outreach grand finale not only celebrated the achievements of the young participants but also laid the groundwork for future sporting events in the constituency. With the continued support of leaders like Honorable Carver and other community stakeholders, the future of sports in Aguata looks promising. This report was brought to you by Aguata News Multimedia Services, your trusted source for daily updates and in-depth coverage of community. 
very events. happy for the great turnout, the commitment, punctuality, consistency of the students and their games in these I have used the opportunity to thank all the schools, administrators, the principals and proprietors and the proprietors. As you know, this uh, uh, competition or this training was extended to not only government schools, but also to missionaries and private run secondary schools in agricultural constituency. Last year, we had Agwata Unity football competition. I did that one on community basis. Of course, you know there are 14 communities in agricultural constituency that make up the 20 words that we have. Our message to our young Nigeria. people is for them to be very focused. There's no shortcut to success in life. Hard work, sincerity, integrity, perseverance, all these are needed for you to become all somebody. Right. Um, badminton is a game that takes a place for a player to master the basis of the game. The idea of this program is not just to after this game, it's just a background The idea of the program is that after this program, keep moving around these schools to see them, to assist them, to so discover the talent in different schools. So far, we are impressed with the performance of the students and the engaged masters as well. And we are very hopeful that in a few years that we are going to discover talent, champions from Aguanta. Um, the, the basic things in badminton and also the rules and um, so the issue of appreciation to you for giving us this really have a lot of us I learned how to serve, to receive, to attack my opponents and also how to support the game and many other skills in the game. I think I like everything about it. There is no reason to I like everything about the badminton. Yes, in the future, if sports become my I choose badminton. I was for